Hello guys, welcome back to Fusion 306 tutorial. In this video, we will make the the back of the the chair, okay? So open your Fusion, let's go. First, let me hide the front leg in the base. That's okay. Go to create and select the left plane here. First, select line, construction line. Click here in this point, make a line here with 20 millimeters. And another line here with 20 millimeters. That's okay. Select line again. Click here in this point. Make a line here with 450 millimeters. That's okay. Select the line, but remove the construction line here. Click here in this point. Make a line here with 20 millimeters. And create a line above here with 20 millimeters. Go down 20 millimeters. And go to this side with 80 millimeters. That's okay. Go to sketch dimension. Click here in this point and this point. The distance here is 20 millimeters. That's okay. Go to constraint, select horizontal vertical, click here in this point and this point here. That's okay. And click in this point here and this point. That's okay. We have this. Okay. Now select the line again. Make uh, a line here with 20 millimeters by 40 millimeters by 20 millimeters that's okay we have this go to sketch dimension the distance between this line and the midpoint here is 400 millimeters and this distance here is 125 millimeters press ok now Go to create, select arc, center point arc, click here in this point, click here in this point, make an arc here. That's okay. Go to create arc, three point arc, click here in this point and this point here. That's okay. Go to constraint, select tangent. Click here and click here. That's good. Now, now select go to create, select the arc, center point arc. Click here in this point. Make an arc here. The radius here is 460, that's okay. Now go to create, select the arc, three point arc, make an arc here, and make another arc here, that's okay. Go to sketch dimension, this arc has 50 millimeters of radius, and this arc has a hundred millimeters of radius that's okay go to constraint tangent click here and click here that's okay the both is tangent and click here and make this arc tangent with this line that's okay go to modify select a tree cut this we have this okay that's good now go to Create, select the arc, three point arc, click here in this point and this point here. Make an arc here. And go to constraint, select tangent, click here and click here. That's okay. 
just for information let me click here here to show the the dimension of these arcs okay that's good now go to mirror select all these lines make sure to select all lines okay the mirror line is this construction line here press ok we have this profile finish the sketch go to extract select this profile direction symmetric measurement whole length and the distance here is 20 millimeters operation new component press ok we have this okay now go to rectangular pattern the object type select component the component select this component and the axis select the red line here move this a little bit the quantity here is 9 press ok we have this ok mm. now let's show the other component the other component let's move this a little bit that's okay and now go to joint select the center of this face here and select the center of this face the motion here is rigid press okay make the same for all components here okay joint the center of this face the center of this face here okay make the same for all okay if possible be my patreon support our channel make a donation by paypal it would be grateful for us okay the last one so we have this let me add some color here red letter a let's change a component here okay we change the body that's okay now here let's create a component to organize here we call back okay that's good now take all these components and move to the back here that's okay active this that's okay so here we finish this exercise we're missing on the arm to make here okay so thanks for watching subscribe my channel for more tutorials and see you in the next video bye bye